Good morning and welcome to St. Mary's Daily Prayer. Today is April 13th, 2022, Wednesday of Holy Week, and my name is Kevin DePass, and I'm happy to be your leader of prayer this morning. And our readings today are taken from the book of the prophet Isaiah and the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Wednesday of Holy Week is traditionally known as Spy Wednesday to commemorate the treachery of Judas, who made a bargain with the high priest to betray Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. And let us begin our celebration now in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed be the God of all consolation, who has shown us his great mercy. Blessed be God forever. <clears throat> and let us pray. O God, who willed your Son to submit for our sake to the yoke of the cross, so that you might drive from us the power of the enemy, grant us, your servants, to attain the grace of the resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God has given me a well-trained tongue, that I might know how to speak to the weary a word that will rouse them. Morning after morning, he opens my ear that I may hear, and I have not rebelled, have not turned my back. I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who plucked my beard, my face I did not shield from buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. He is near who upholds my right. If anyone wishes to oppose me, let us appear together. Who disputes my right? Let him confront me. See, the Lord God is my help, who will prove who will, who will prove me wrong. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response a real psalm. Lord, in your great love, answer me. For your sake I bear insult, and shame covers my face. I have become an outcast to my brothers, a stranger to my mother's sons, because zeal for your house consumes me, and the insults of those who blaspheme you fall upon me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Insult has broken my heart, and I am weak. I looked for sympathy, but there was none. For consolers, not one could, find, could I find. Rather, they put gall in my food, and in my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink. Lord, in your great love, answer me. I will praise the name of God in song, and I will glorify him with thanksgiving. See, you lonely ones, and be glad. You who seek God, may your hearts revive. For the Lord hears the poor, and his own who are bonds he spurns not. Lord, in your great love, answer me. <clears throat> A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. One of the twelve, who was called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests and said, what are you willing to give me if I hand him over to you? They paid him 30 pieces of silver. And from that time on, he looked for an opportunity to hand him over. On the first day of unleavened bread, the disciples approached Jesus and said, Where do you want us to prepare for you to eat the Passover? And he said, Go into the city to a certain man and tell him, the teacher says, my appointed time draws near. In your house, 
I shall celebrate the Passover with my disciples. The disciples then did as Jesus had ordered and prepared the Passover. When it was evening, he reclined at the table with twelve. And while they were eating, he said, Amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. Deeply distressed at this, they began to say to him one after another, Surely it is not I, Lord. And he said in reply, He who has dipped his hand into the dish with me is the one who will betray me. The Son of Man indeed goes as it is written of him. But woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would be better for that man if he had never been born. Then Judas, his betrayer, said in reply, Surely it is not I, Rabbi. And he answered, You have said so. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. And let us now bring our cares and our concerns to our Heavenly Father. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. For our call to stewardship, that we may use our gifts to benefit those who need our help, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to the pandemic, that God will guide us all to curtail the virus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the created world, that we may promote respect for God's creation and cooperate with God's plan as creation is brought to fulfillment, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who need physical or spiritual healing, that God's gracious spirit will give their bodies and minds comfort and wholeness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, that they may be brought into the eternal peace of God's presence through Jesus, who is the resurrection and the life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our own prayers that we hold now in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we ask these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. And let us now pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. God of mercy, we thank you for the gift of your Son and the road to redemption paid by his sacrifice through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the Lord bless us. Protect us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. My friends, happy Easter. Go in peace.